Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my January empties. These are the first empties of the year for 2023 and I'm kind of disappointed really with how much product I have. Um, my bag here is, gosh, not even halfway full and usually it's full. So I don't know what happened to my <laughs> personal hygiene in the month of January. Honestly, it's because I haven't been training. So I haven't been get, going through as many products because I'm down to like one shower a day as opposed to two showers a day, you know? Anyway, I'm going to start with my non-project pan empties. I feel like, am I in center? I think maybe there. Okay. I'm going to start with my non-project pan items first. I do have some makeup stuff. The first thing is I have is a mini of the all-nighter all setting spray from Urban Decay. This was just, like I said, a mini. And I have one from ColourPop that I put, that I'm putting in a project pan. Have you guys seen that video? I don't even know, but um, maybe you haven't. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, I'm working on a ColourPop one. Well, you guys would have seen it because it was in a previous project pan last year. Um, the All Nighter from Urban Decay, my favorite, favorite, favorite um, setting spray of all time. Then I have a mascara from L'Oreal Paris. This is the Unlimited Mascara. This is huge, like little well here. Um, this is what the one looks like. The one is a flexible one. Can you guys see that? I enjoy the formula, however, not the packaging. Can you guys see this right here? This originally, uh, you can like bend it like this. And what I did is I, I super glued it <laughs> so that when I was applying it, um, I'd, I'd have more of a steady uh, or stable um, like hand, I mean wand, because if it was like, if I, if, if this little, contrapture bent and then when I was applying this was bending too I found myself having to hold it like at weird angles and so I didn't like that so I super glued it I just unglued it right now to show you guys how it bends um, I like the formula but I don't like the packaging especially because of this bendy stuff and the flexible wand I don't think I would repurchase but I did enjoy how it made my lashes look and then one that I didn't like unfortunately is this one from Merit I got this in PR um, when I was trying the Lafette edition that they sent out for the holidays um, and this is what it looks like. I felt like this um, formula was really dry. I personally tend to like wetter formulas and I felt that this was kind of dry and also the wand is kind of like the size of the of the container. So even if I wanted to like swirl my brush around, I really can't do that just because the wand is like the length of this. So I can't really like put it in there. So. I don't think it's a, it's a product that I would buy in the full size. Um, if they send it to me in PR again, the full size, and I was and I had a like a larger tube here that I could really, you know, mix and and get a use out of. Uh, maybe I would try it again, but it's not something that I would purchase. Then I have a ton of little perfume samples that I went through. I went through. They're both men and women's. <laughs> I used cologne as my everyday perfume anyway. Uh, every day anyway uh from the men's one i have the calvin klein defy i did not like that one and then the gentleman from Givenchy, i did enjoy this one i thought this one smelled nice um and then i have three women's perfumes i have uh the seven virtues in vanilla woods i really enjoyed this one um it it was reminiscent of victoria's secrets tea's body spray i don't know if they still make it anymore i haven't bought it in a long time but that's what this reminded me so if you guys know what that smells like that's what it smelled like that and then my way from giorgio armani i'm not a fan of this one and then prada candy i remember not liking this one but i don't know if it's because i'm getting old and my like taste has changed but i actually enjoyed it i would consider buying this in the full size which is weird because before I thought it smelled like super sickeningly sweet. Now I enjoy it this time around. Who knows? And then last but not least, I am decluttering three nail polishes. These were in my project polish a couple of years ago, or last year, and they've been in my collection for a long time. The first two that I have here, let me put this one down. Uh, the Clean Color Nail Lacquer. This was in the color Espresso. And then the Donna Michelle uh, in the color, I don't know what, it, what the color is. But these two, the formula is super old and I have revived it with nail polish thinner like 10 times each. So the formula that's in here is already very thinned out and it's just, 
it's gross it's goopy and it's just it's old you know it doesn't apply smoothly it goes on bumpy on my nails it's just it's not a good formula it's they've been revived many times it's time that I get rid of these um, they're just they're old and just no longer good it sucks that I couldn't pan them but it is what it is and then this one from OPI this is the uh, OPI nail lacquer in the color uh, OPI scores of gold this one is not as old as those other two but it is kind of up there in age uh, and then I've also had to revive this uh, one or two times and it's not goopy it's very thin but this one something's wrong with the formula when I apply it on my nails it's it it applies like if I apply it over oil so there's kind of like separation it doesn't matter how much I shake it uh, how well I apply like I, I wipe my nails um, with nail polish before I apply my um, nail polish just to get rid of like any lo lotion or oils that I might have in my hands and even doing that when I apply this on it still separates um, like if I had some sort of something on my nails that destroys the formula of this so for that reason I'm getting rid of it I've tried so many, so many things to make it look nice I have to apply like three or four coats to kind of make it opaque and then it just kind of like falls off my nails by the next day even if I don't apply a base coat I mean even if I apply the base coat it's just it's a terrible formula and it's just times to go maybe I did buy this on Marshall so maybe it was an old formula to begin with who knows now on to the products that are here uh, real quickly I have a soap from Bath & Body Works the uh, foaming hand soap in the scent leaves I haven't used anything from leaves in a long time and oh I remember how much I liked it so I'm excited I have a couple of more in back stock then I have from First Aid Beauty the facial radiance pads um, I did purchase these at Marshalls for what is it $14.99 I enjoyed these it was a nice uh, way to use like a toner on my face uh, without having to use like the two-step with the the toner itself and then the alcohol pad these were already soaked in here <laughs> how lazy can one person be right uh, but it was nice I don't think they do really much for my skin but it was nice a few housekeeping things here I have <laughs> my nail polish remover this is the equate 100% acetone that's what I use to remove my nails finally went through this guy and then I have my favorite contact solution from Clear Care. You guys see this almost in every empties. Then I have three lotions, two minis and a full size, the two sample ones. Uh, this one is from Hemp's in the Pomegranate Herbal Body Butter. I really enjoyed this one. I remember using one from Hemp'sa, Hemp'sa a long time ago and I didn't care for it. This one, I don't know if it's the scent, but I loved it. I would consider buying this in the full size. So I think Hemp's is a kind of a pricey brand. And then a little sample of the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion it was nice nothing to write home about if you have sensitive skin i think you enjoy it because it really doesn't smell like anything and then i have the vanilla bean noel from bath and body works i did cut this open not because i'm obsessive about opening cutting packaging open and getting every single last bit out but the packaging this packaging is very hard so once there was very little product left it was kind of hard for me to squeeze the product so it was just easier to cut it open so i can get to it i do have a bunch of more lotions like this from bath and body works and so i would continue to repurchase also in the lotion department i went through a hand sunscreen from neutrogena the hydro boost spf 30 i did not like this one um it was just it was kind of like a gel formula maybe because of the hydro boost yeah water gel lotion I prefer lotions that are creams so for as opposed to gel just because I feel like when I, I'm working out and I'm sweating especially when I'm running outside um, the sweat I feel like it breaks down uh, sunscreen that's in lotion form faster than the sunscreen oh, Toby Toby then the sunscreen that's in cream form so for that reason I wouldn't repurchase I thought I have bought this at Marshall's but I removed the the price tag so I can't remember how much I paid for this I went through two bath salt stuff this one are the Epsom salts from Walmart in the eucalyptus uh, scent this smells the same as the Dr. Teal's one um, and then I would repurchase in a heartbeat I don't need to because you guys saw my Christmas haul I got a bunch of bath salts and then this one from the brand oh gosh Nape Neep K-N-E-I-P-P uh, this is the Arnica uh, Joint and Muscle Mineral Bath Salt. 
I really enjoyed it. I love bath salts with Arnica because I feel like they do a good job in relaxing your muscles. I think Arnica is really good for that. Uh, I think I would purchase in the bigger size. That was just a little sample one that I got. Then I went through a deodorant from Briogeo. This is the Be Well Tea Tree and Eucalyptus Clean Deodorant. This was okay. I've been trying to find a dupe for my favorite um, deodorant that got discontinued, which was the Tarte Clean Queen Vegan Deodorant um, deodorant from Tarte. If you guys know of a dupe for that, please let me know. I've tried the native ones. I don't like them. I've tried this one. I've tried the La Vanilla. Not a fan. Um, it, and it's just, why did they discontinue? That was such a good deodorant. I am back to using regular degree deodorant. Uh, this one was kind of expensive for what it was and I didn't really care for it. So I wouldn't repurchase or recommend it. Then I have from Ulta Beauty, the Peppermint Moisturizing Foot Balm. This was, um, you guys can see it kind of, that's the plastic right there. Um, this is kind of like a deodorant. You roll it up and then you rub it onto your feet. I didn't like this. It's not what I was, ex it didn't do what I was expecting it to do. For it being a peppermint foot balm, I was expecting it to, um, to be uh, like tingly. You know when i applied it to help like relieve tired my tired feet but this there was no tingling there was no minty sensation there was nothing it was it, it was just like a like um uh, oh my gosh like a oh my gosh vaseline <laughs> in in a stick form that i used uh to put on my feet at night so for that reason i wouldn't recommend it i am using a lotion that my mom gave me i don't know the brand uh but it, it's supposed to be like uh pepperminty as well and that one does leave a tingling sensation after I apply it. So I like it a little bit better than this one. I have some hair stuff. I have a sample of the Amica Hydro Rush uh, shampoo and conditioner. This didn't have enough product for even for my short hair. It wasn't enough, so wouldn't care to buy it. Then I used the Derma E scalp relief treatment with tea tree oil, aloe vera, herbal, herbal blend. I thought this would help like my hair grow or something because of the aloe vera and the tea tree oil. I don't, I don't feel like it did anything. Um, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase. I know Sephora has like a biotin, um, like hair oil also that comes in, in, a, in a product kind of like this. Uh, so I'm intrigued to try that one, but this one I wouldn't repurchase. I don't think it did anything really. And then I used two of the Olaplex number three hair perfecter. Uh, these two I used as an in-shower hair mask, thanks to one of you guys' suggestion. Uh, because the instructions for this one is to apply to damp towel dried hair apply this wait 10 minutes and then rinse so because it seems like a long process it was putting me off to trying to tr of trying to tr trying to try this i one of you guys in the comments said that you guys used it yourselves but as a hair mask in the shower and i was like perfect that's what i'll do so i used each one of them once because i did apply it all over my hair and i enjoyed it that way I wouldn't buy it to use it that way. If I got another sample, I know how to use it, but it's not something that I think I would buy. Then I finally used my Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream. I did not like this, you guys. You guys know this kind of separated during the summer months. It kind of got separated and you guys told me to put it in the fridge. But if it's in the fridge, it's, I'm never going to apply it because I don't make it to the kitchen in the mornings when I go to bed. When I get up in the mornings, I don't go to the kitchen at all until I'm ready to go. And if I applied it before going to bed at night, it was just gonna be just too far. <laughs> Maybe I'm too lazy, I don't know. Um, I would never buy the big one. This is the one ounce size product. I would buy maybe the half ounce because my gosh, this took me, I feel like it took me like eight months, if not, or nine months, maybe even 10 months, I don't know. It feels like I've been using this forever. I don't think I would repurchase. I'm using right now for one from Clarence and I really enjoy it. And then I have from Herbivore, the Emerald Cannabis Sativa Hemp Oil for Deep Moisture Glow. Uh, this was nice. I applied it to my uh, moisturizer at night before I went to bed. During the winter when my hands have been really um, dry, I apply some of this to my hand lotion before I went to bed. Just to, for the added um, moisture that's supposed to give. I don't think it did anything to add moisture. At least not to my hands, maybe on my face. Maybe the skin is different. I don't know, but... For the hands, it didn't quite work. <laughs> I went through one of the uh, Oral B Glide Pro Health Dental Floss, my favorite dental floss of all time. 
Then I went through a little pocket bag from Bath and Body Works. This is the Sunshine and Lemons pocket bag. It's nice. I bought a bunch of them when they were a dollar each. So I have a whole stock. And for Christmas, I got Bath and Body Works stuff from one of my sisters and a coworker, and they each one put one of the of these in there. So I'll have plenty. I have one uh, home fragrance thing. This is from Airwick in the apple cinnamon, kind of a seasonal uh, scent at home. I have the last one burning right now or plugged in right now. It should be almost finished, so you guys will see it in the next month. But after that, going back to non-holiday um, scents. And then last but not least, I have a few more samples. I have from Dermalogica, the Dynamic Skin Recover SPF Moisturizer. I wouldn't buy the full size, it worked just okay. From Beauty Stat, this is the Universal Sea Skin Refiner. It's a vitamin C serum. It was okay. Nothing that I would buy in the full size. From Kiehl's, the Powerful Strength Line Reducing Dark, uh, Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Serum. This was nice. I would consider buying this one. I think my next eye cream, though, I'm going to go back to the one from Algenist. I'm really missing that one. And then last but not least, I have from uh, We Dad. We Dad. We did <laughs> advanced climate control anti-freeze nanotechnology. This is a hydrating mask. I used it in the shower, worked fine. There are plenty of other hair masks that I enjoy. That's all I used up in the month of January. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.